Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be making the Jace top, which is a pretty classic bralette style top. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be making this top two different ways. One is gonna be the classic way, and one is gonna be with a band for extra support. For materials, we're gonna need an outer fabric and a lining fabric, basic sewing tools, including a loop turner, and swimwear elastic. We're starting off first with the version without a band, but if you do want to put one on, then you'll need a thicker size of elastic, which I'll be showing later on. This pattern is free and it is my gift to you for helping me reach 20,000 subscribers. So visit the link in the description to get it. I do want to release some more free patterns and I think that milestones are a good way to do it. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, then subscribe right now and 30,000 subscribers will do another one of these. So first off, we're gonna cut our pieces. I'm making mine with removable cups. So I'm cutting two of the front and one of the back in this lining fabric. Then I'm just gonna cut out my little slit for the removable cups and I'll finish that off off camera. And then in the self fabric, I'm gonna be cutting one of the front and one of the back. I'm also gonna cut my straps. I cut mine to be one and a quarter inch by 24 inches, and I'm gonna be cutting those in half to make two 12 inch straps. I'm laying down into So the first sewing step is gonna be finishing off the strap. Fold it right sides together and attach the elastic. Then take it to the right side with your loop turner and cut it in half to make our two straps. Separate your pieces to match front with front and back with back, right sides together. Pin the neckline, shoulder lines, and the bottom line on both pieces. So you're gonna pin the same areas of the back, just the top and the bottom line, but first you're gonna pin your straps down so we can knock out attaching those in one step. I like to put my straps about three and a half inches in from the edge on each side. Pin down the top line and the bottom line, making sure that your straps are tucked out of the way from the bottom.
Now sew the top and bottom lines of both pieces. I'm using my Baby Lock Evolution serger, but if you don't have a serger, you can use a zigzag stitch for this whole tutorial. Next, go through and attach elastic right on top of every seam we just sewed. I like to attach my elastic onto the side that has the self fabric, so in this case, the blue side. Take both pieces to the right side and line them up as they would be when they were completed. You're going to insert the straps into the front strap openings, making sure that the strap itself is not twisted. Reaching in to the inside of the front piece, pull your strap openings through on both sides and sew down the straps to secure. If you haven't seen this done before, Go and watch some of my other videos where I do show you the steps a little bit slower. Now the final step is attaching the sides. To do this, line up one side. Reach inside the front piece and still holding that side together, flip the front piece so it envelops the rest of the suit. Watch closely as I do this twice, the second time a little bit slower. If you're still lost, I do recommend watching some of my other videos since I use this method in every single one. Now pin the sides together, making sure that the back piece is not twisted inside. Again, just double check making sure that your right sides are together and then sew the sides across all four layers of fabric. When sewing, you can either sew all the way across and seam rip a hole where the tag should be in the back, or if you want, you can do what I did and leave a one inch hole in one of the sides. Either way works. Now take the suit back to the right side through the hole we left.
finish up the hole using an invisible stitch or a straight stitch and you're all done. Like I mentioned, this version has a little less support, so it is more of a style choice. I'm wearing a size medium and I paired it with the Whitney Bottoms, also in a size medium. I don't have a problem with support in tops, so I do like this version a little bit better, but for larger cup sizes, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend going with this next version. So the first few steps are gonna be all the same. Again, I'm making mine with removable pads, so you'll see me cut two lining pieces of the front. If you do want to learn how I do this, then I can link the video on removable cups in the description. And again, we're going to cut one in the front and one in the back of the self fabric. Every time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl alive, alive, alive. If you hadn't run away, every time I asked you stay, you would sleep right next to me tonight. But you didn't know me, all you wanted was a game to play. This time, however, we are going to be cutting our band. I made mine 26 inches long for a size medium, and depending on how thick your elastic is, you'll adjust the thickness. At first, I cut it to be two and a quarter inch, but I did go back and trim it. I'm making my straps the exact same way as last time. Recommended strap lengths are included in the pattern. I realized I didn't have enough of my one inch elastic, so I decided to make my band 3 eighths of an inch. I went back and trimmed down my band to be 1.25 inches. Man, I really love to play And now that I won, then it's safe to say But you didn't want me, all you wanted was a game to play And you couldn't handle that I had my ways Around your mind tricks and your side chicks, I'm a winner, babe But you didn't win this, it's a part of the game Here are your pieces, and again, our first step is going to be finishing off those straps. Cut them in half to make two, and now you're going to match the front with the front and back with the back, right sides together. Pin just like last time. But this time we're not gonna to touch that bottom line on either piece. So you're just gonna sew the top lines on both pieces. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But never, never, ever, ever seem to be over. I saw her. So I'm happy I got freed. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Uh -oh. Smile, but I would never ever ever would have believed them. No, we 
Sometimes the truth is hard to see But never, never, ever, ever seem to be over I saw her. So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me I've won. Now flip both pieces to the right side and complete both straps just like last time. The next step is going to be attaching the sides and we're using the same method but since the bottom isn't sewn you can actually just flip the front piece around the back and pin it. Make sure right sides are together to make sure you did this correctly, make sure nothing is twisted, and then pin and sew down to complete the sides. Now take it to the right side and we're going to move on to our band. Take your band and your elastic and sew them right sides together hamburger style to make them one continuous loop. Now line up the band with the bottom edge of the top right sides together and pin it down so the seams are lined up. You're also going to mark the halfway point of the band and line that up with the other seam from the top. And again, I'm going to go back to my sewing machine and secure that band down, slightly stretching as you sew. If you're doing this correctly, you should be sewing across three layers of fabric. Now we're going to go back and attach the elastic using the exact same steps as we just did. If you want, you can do the band and the elastic in one step, but with slidey fabric, sometimes it's easier to divide it into two. Another option is to use a basting stitch. You can use the stitch to attach layers that might slide around, and then you could go back in one step and finish it off in one surge. Now flip the band so the excess fabric covers the seam on the inside. I'm gonna pin all around and sew the band down. You want to pin so that the fabric covers up the raw seam on the inside. I'm going to be using a cover stitch for this step, 
but if your machine doesn't have that function, then use a zigzag stitch. Take this step slowly because you'll want to make sure it looks clean on the inside. I introduced this method in the tutorial for the Hannah top, so if you need a little bit more explanation, then go and watch that video. And that's it. So this version with the band is a little bit more secure since the elastic on the bottom is 26 inches, which is gonna be smaller than the actual measurements of the top. But it does still have the same look as the earlier version. I also paired this top with the Whitney bottoms and in both I'm wearing a size medium. Thanks for coming by to my channel. Be sure to subscribe, be sure to visit edgewateravenue.com and see the link in the description to get a free pattern. I